Well, it's just only one game. This is game number two. We still got a little ways to go, but uh, they work extremely hard. Uh, yeah, like I say, every, when I come in on Sundays and watch these tapes, first thing I look forward to is seeing these kids in these in these seats because they've been so outstanding in what they've done off the field. So, I, you know, I know we're progressing. Are we where we need to be at yet? No, but uh, I know we're progressing. What was your uh, viewpoint on Munchie's injury at all? Well, I saw it. I mean, I was – I saw it immediately. It was uh, definitely, uh, you know, one of those injuries that, uh, you know, you've seen on Theismann and those types of, of injuries. So I wanted to get out there to him as quickly as I could. And, uh, you know, I think that he was in pain. There's no question. Um, but uh, they took care of him and, and got him off. And, and hopefully, hopefully we'll all pray that, that, uh, that he's healthy. Let's talk about Bill Cubitt. Uh, what do you want me to talk about? Just <laughs> called talk 500 about the, yards. The changes in, in the offense well, and how efficiently it's running. You know, and, and, and in every – Bill Cupid was, was, has always been successful and has always done a great job with our offense. It's still about him putting our players in position for making plays. Uh, we just call the plays. Uh, the players are the ones that run the plays. And uh, I think Bill would be the first one to tell you that, too. Bill's an outstanding offensive mind. There's no question. And, and in my opinion, that's why I brought him here. He's the best that I've been coaching against or been around. But uh, the bottom line is the players are the ones that have to make the plays. And uh, I think he could probably tell you the same. What goes through your mind sometimes when you see some of the formations that he puts out there? Well, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit before. and I, Usually what I say is, well, I've seen that before. I've seen that one too. I've seen that one. And when we try to defend him, um, you know, it's just Again, he, he uh, you know puts our players in position to be successful, and that's why he's been such a great offensive mind. The rushing game was your wide receivers for the biggest part of the game for the leaders. Did that develop because of the pregame or what they saw upstairs? No, I, th- I think that was uh, you know prior to the game we knew that we were going to be able to get the ball to the outside on reverses, uh, you know the jet sweep type things um, to get uh, Martez or. I know Nathan uh, made a couple of those calls. I mean, we give the uh, a senior that's been here that understands the game of football, we give him opportunities to uh, utilize his football smarts, which he is very, very intelligent football-wise. And he put us in some good uh, opportunities for some, some plus plays. Did you think that that touchdown was going to get overturned? I did. I mean, I didn't think it was in. And, uh, you know, that's I was going to challenge it if it wasn't uh, reviewed uh, because I didn't think he got in. I thought... Uh, Angelo came in there with that second hit, or really it was a third, uh, that really kind of forced that ball out. So uh, I was going to challenge it, but uh, I didn't need to because of the uh, situation with replay. What can a goal uh, goal line stand followed by a 99-yard touchdown drive do for a football program? No, it's just, you know, and really we had that opportunity in the first half as a defense right before they scored that first touchdown. So, uh you know, I, I will say this, and, and I wrote this down during the football game. On the first TD series, Miles will say made a third down and eight, got hit at about five, and then fought for three more yards to get first down. On the second series, uh, Barr had a catch on third and long that kept that series going. On the third series, Hall's block on the reverse and Barr's third down catch. On the fourth series, that was, of course, a 99-yard series. Uh, where we drove it down after the goal line stop that this defense had. The fifth series, there was a huge catch by Steve Hall on third down. And then, of course, on the sixth one, we had the big catch uh, by number seven on the, in the corner route uh, for, the, for the opportunity. All those weren't touchdowns, of course. One was a field goal. But, you know, it was players making plays. If you're going to continue to drive, you've got to be successful on third downs. We practice that. We talk about it. We won third downs this, this uh today, and we also won the turnover battle today. So uh, there's reasons you win, and I definitely believe that.